Greetings, this is Darvain and welcome to a new series of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6. Okay, gonna check in the I've in the last series, well we did stuff, so I've added the Australia Civilization Pack, which includes a new civilization, Australia, and the leader John Curtin. Oh yeah. I've also got here the Julius Leader Caesar Pack which is an alternative leader for Rome who was which was given away free to everyone who linked their to anyone who linked their 2k account to the game um, let's I'm gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna disable scout cap so yeah anyone who done here you know scout cat and Julius Caesar rewards but yeah okay so in their last series we played as Fre Frederick Barbarossa on a Parangaea map that was for which was a huge map for 12 players but that was still a little bit like too empty for us. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna add in as many AI players as we can get. There should be 20 there. With 24 plus, we have the barbarian clans mode, so we can create more city states. So yeah. Um, we've got no duplicate civilizations so and by having no duplicate civilizations that means with a grand total of 21 different civilizations all but one civilization will be appearing in this game so let's see who that is From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Gorgo, Queen of Sparta, glory to you and your loyal hoplite armies. Greece savors the blessings from Ares that every victory brings, and your people applaud your thoughtful governance and cultural marvels. Stand proud, for the legacy of Greece and of your achievements will be told over and over again for generations. Okay, so, Vermopole. Combat victories provide culture equals to 50% 50% of the combat strength for the defeated unit. Plus one combat strength for every military policy slotted. One extra world card policy slot in any government. We get the hoplite and we get the Acropolis. So yeah, let's have a look at this. What does this mean? What does this actually mean for us? Well, Basically, we have an ancient. E the hoplite is an ancient era cavalry unit placed as a spearman. You get plus we've got ten combat strength if there's adjacent hoplite. So, yeah, keeping them together is pretty good. The Acropolis is a cultural site that replaces the fiat district that awards envoys, and but can only be built on hills. Okay, and gains plus one culture for every adjacent wonder and district, but and an extra culture from the for being adjacent to the city centre. So yeah, we're gonna go combat and culture. There's an interesting mix for us. Okay. Now I'm not sure which way is which. You're saying settle there. 
Plains Hills. Plains Hills. And basically we want to settle next to hills if we are going to be putting the Acropolis on a hill next to our city. Can't see any reason why we wouldn't settle there, so let's settle there. Not got much choice really. Well we have, but to be honest. Hmm, what do we got? We got let's get a scout out. And our research, well chopping of woods. Uh yeah, let's go pottery because can't really do anything else there, to be honest. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Okay, Mount Everest. Interesting. Free tile, impassable, natural wonder, provides plus one faith to adjacent tiles. Religious units who move next to Mount Everest ignore hills for the rest of the game. Okay. Through exploration, we have discovered a natural wonder of the world. There is no doubt that it could provide a great benefit to the one who settles the land surrounding it. Having discovered another continent, we realize there's a third world of trading opportunities. Your progress towards foreign trade has advanced considerably. Having I mean, discovering a natural wonder has inspired your people with the majesty of the universe. Your knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. Okay. We have discovered a city-state. Establishing diplomatic relations with them will surely be beneficial for our empire. Perhaps we should send them an envoy. There are several different types of city-states, and each may provide different benefits in return for our friendship. Our government, over time, will allow us to earn envoys to grow these relationships. Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Okay. Our explorers have spotted another friendly tribal village. I suggest we send a scout to investigate. Mm. Now I'm tempted to put a city center there because then I can put a um, Acropolis there Acropolis probably go one of those two yeah so yeah just kind of thinking what's going on here
Okay. Maybe there's worth going as well. Yeah. Because then it can be one of those two. That looks about right. No somos Felipe, rey de España y Portugal. Empero, por encima de todo, somos fieles devotos de la única y verdadera religión. I am the King of Spain, Portugal, Sardinia and Sicily, Naples, Duke of Milan, etc. But most importantly, I'm a devout follower of the one true religion. I hope for your sake you are as well. Would you like to sample our nearby city? Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? May the Lord bless you. So, after meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. Your knowledge of writing has advanced considerably. Okay. So, let's have a look. You are a counter reformer. Like civilizations who follow the same religion and wants their cities in all to all follow the same religion. Hates everyone try anyone trying to spread their religion into the air empire. Okay. Let's see. Send a delegation with a gift of gold to this power. If accepted, the recipient will be a bit friendlier and you will gain a level of access. Last until you gain the diplomatic service civic. You received the Heret, I mean your trade delegation. I will be sure to instruct them in our ways. Goodbye. So, um, yeah, Здравствуйте, я царь Петр. Достойный правитель, подобный вам, должен ценить все самое изысканное. Любите ли вы искусство подобно мне? Hello, I am Tsar Peter. So a cultured leader such as yourself must enjoy the finer things in life. Are you fond of art as well? It is an honor to meet you. Would you like to exchange information on our capitals? Mine is a beacon of progress, but I do not know yours. Exchanging information on our, on our capitals Catapults, capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. Okay, so we got Peter. He's a westernizer. Westernizer, westernizer, you're a westernizer. Friendly to those civilizations that are ahead of him in science and culture. Dislikes backward civilizations that are lacking in science and culture. Send you a delegation then. Hmm. Your trade delegation arrived and I'm always happy to receive visitors from a fort, especially when they bring gifts. Goodbye. So, if we... Now this way... Oh. 
Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Okay. Let's have a look. No, no, no. Well, can't really do anything. Don't can't use a builder or anything like that. Uh Let's go with another warrior. Your contact with other states has crystallised your ideas on governing your own people. Your progress towards political philosophy has advanced considerably. Okay. I might put one it's either there or there really I mean there looks pretty good a lake yeah that looks like a good place there so Our city continues to prosper. Already our people thrive and our population grows. Gina Vembanzinga, ye kete lofana mbote. Ngeti mona vo, lo sambuka kwa tata nzambi. Keti lo na vava mukabula nte mwena. I am Nevember Anazinga, and I greet you as a friend. I can see you are blessed by God. Are you here to share your enlightenment? It is an honor to meet you. Before we continue, come, in, come worship with me at our nearby city. 
then we can enjoy a meal of chicken moambe. We would love to sample your hospitality. Let's see. Enthusiastic disciple. Like civilizations that bring religion to the Congo, dislike civilizations that have founded a religion but not brought it to a Congolese city. Okay. Your trade delegation arrived at my capital where we welcome them with open arms and thank you for your gifts. Goodbye. Hmm. بفضل منه الواحد الأحد القوي المنتصر الدائم الذي لا ينتهي ملكه أرسل إليك تحياتي يا صديق العزيز By the grace of the one God, the powerful, the victorious, the everlasting of whose kingdom there is no end, I greet you, my sincere friend. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? A fruitful offer. May Allah bless you. Goodbye. Okay, so your turn. Yeah, Ayyubid Dynasty wants to have his worship building in as many cities. He wants to have his worship building in many cities and likes civilization with it, dislikes civilizations following other religions or civilizations raging wars on followers of his religion. Okay, send you a delegation. Thousand thanks for your gifts. Your delegation will be treated with the utmost regard. Goodbye. Not sure about here. I'm gonna have to find where there's a hill before I even think about anything down there. But maybe. I mean, I've got three places to think about. I'll try and get there. Um. Yeah, and there. And up there, if possible. We are, by the grace of God, Victoria, 
Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And soon, dare I say, the Empire. Okay. It is an honour to meet you. In the interest of our political relationship, we would like to know more about your capital. In exchange for information on ours, of course. Exchanging information on our capitals was a great idea. It should help promote trade. Okay. See, Victoria. Sun never sets. Like civilizations from our home continent and wants to expand to all continents. Doesn't like civilizations and continents where England has no city. Okay. Send you a delegation. We have received your trade delegation and you may rest assured that we will treat them with the dignity they deserve. Goodbye. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über Deutsche und Welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. Greetings. I am the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick, King of Germany, Italy, Burgundy and many others. I trust that you will rule your lands as I do through might. It is an honor to meet you. I will show you our great capital if you can tell me how yours can possibly compare to Germany's seat of power. Exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. Okay. Iron Crown. Like, city, like civilizations who do not associate with city-states, does not like suzerains of city-states or civilizations who conquer city-states. And you have a delegation. Your envoy arrived and I'll welcome them personally. Our empire could benefit from diplomacy. Goodbye. Man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Okay. First off, let's choose our research. What have we got? None of those. Oh no, actually, we've got sheep here. So, yeah, let's get some animal husbandry then. We're going to head you back up this way. We want to see what's down on this branch of the river. Well, you can carry your journey down here. Never again can I gaze upon the beauty spots of the earth and enjoy them as being the finest thing I have ever seen. Crater Lake is above them all. One tile natural wonder it appears as a lake and provides plus five faith, plus one science, and fresh water. Okay. Oh no, and that would be nice to get to there, but I think that's quite a long way. I don't think we're going to get there, to be honest. But it would be nice if we could.
I would have trouble, definitely have trouble with a Congo. Um, that looks like that might be heels, so I might have there to do something. Okay. If we get there, that would be great. If not, we won't. So, yeah, we're going to, I think we play to turn 30. 30 turns is usually about right. Okay, so. Um. Anyway, we're going to follow you up. It would seem we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. We must destroy the stronghold or risk future attacks. Okay. Right. We can do that. And that will be the next episode. For now, this has been Doreen doing Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6 Series 10. Is it Series 10 already? Wow, okay. As always, if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. And until next time, goodbye.